This is the one species that hasn't... That sounds like a macaw, everybody. Hey, welcome to Animal Bites. We have animals interrupting other animals. It is the first snowfall of the year and it is getting cold. I'm thinking back to warmer days when I saw some of the coolest animals of the entire year for me. I want to show you the world's largest rodent, the hairiest pig you've ever met, and the smallest crocodile you will ever see. I'm Jay Salmoni for Animal Planet, and these are your animal bites. Now I met a friend of mine who maybe won't win any beauty pageants, but is one of the coolest animals you'll ever see. You might think he's a basis for your favorite band. He is the bearded pig, and he is awesome. This is a Borneo bearded pig, and I think you can see where he gets his name. Check out that big beard. Um, he's one of the most athletic pigs in the whole world, could jump a six foot fence. You watch him eat this corn. He has very strong jaws. You look inside there, you can see those beautiful tusks. Now, you might not think of a pig as dangerous, but a guy like this is very dangerous. Because they're that athletic, they have all that weight behind them, and these bottom tusks are very, very sharp. So if he gets angry, he can stick those tusks wherever he wants. Hi, big guy. Hi, guy. Nice guy. Luckily, this is Edgar, and we're friends because I just gave him some corn. Hey, big guy. One thing you might not know about pigs, people often ask how smart they are. They are smarter than your household dog. They are very, very smart. They can be easily trained, and they can often outthink you. And he's thinking, why didn't you bring more corn? I'm sorry, I only bought a little bit. I had no idea there was such a thing as a dwarf crocodile, but I do have some cool friends and they wanted to show me one, and now I want to show you one. Now they are very little, but they have a big bite. This is a dwarf crocodile, and truthfully speaking, this is the first time I've ever seen or heard of a dwarf crocodile. Uh, it is very, very rare. These are very, very endangered, so we're very lucky to see it. Now these guys are aquatic. Now let me see if I show you here. Look at those feet. Well, they're webbed feet. That is specifically for swimming. You can see how his legs can swim straight against his body like that, and they can swim through the water like this. And look at that ruddered tail. That's propulsion. That is makes this guy a fantastic swimmer. Now one of the interesting things about crocodiles is they haven't evolved in millions of years. They've been so perfect at living in their little niche in their ecosystems that they've been able to eat and live like this for a very, very long time. So the largest rodent on the planet is a South American animal called the capybara. And it is a cool looking thing. It's basically a large hamster. This is a capybara. He is the largest in the rodent family and a super cool animal. They are aquatic, or at least semi-aquatic. They love to hang out in the water. These guys basically are big jaguar trees. They live in South America, and uh, they really do have to watch out for everything because they are tasty for everybody. Their big defense is get in the water and get lost. He has very, very strong jaw muscles, which is why he can bite through corn so easily, and huge incisors, which is helping some those sharp, sharp bites. He's like a guinea pig on steroids. If you look at his body, his ears, his eyes, and his nose are all at the very top of his head, so the whole body can be underwater while he's out there looking for danger. Uh, and if he sees it, he can disappear quite quickly. Guys, thank you so much for joining. I hope you thought these animals were as cool as I do. I hope you learned something. I hope this was fun. Please leave me some comments below. I'll see you next time.